Ladies and gentlemen, Soft and Way Incorporated presents an overview of axial compressor conceptual design and analysis in Axe Stream 3. Part 3 Cascade Profiling and Blade Design Axe Stream Profiling and Blade Design for Axial Compressors Axe Stream 3 integrates profiling and 3D blade design in a single functional module. This module includes profiling blade design tools. Potential Flow Solver and Cascade 2D CFD Solver. For axial compressor profiling, Axe Stream uses profiles based geometry that includes cord, inlet outlet blade angles, leading trailing edges diameters, relative maximum thickness and its location, pitch or solidity. This set of data is a starting point of the Axe Stream profiling procedure. Axe Stream solvers do not use actual profile shape, but rather profile basic parameters Pritchard model. It gives the opportunity to run performance calculation on every step of conceptual design. Axe Stream uses different types of profiling. They are Model type Customs camber profiling and Double curve arc DCA profiling Profiling with predefined profiles Model type profiling. It is the basic profiling type. Model type cascades are created in a course of design. Model profile is defined with basic parameters only, and do not suppose actual shape. Nevertheless, this type allows to run all kinds of inverse and direct solvers tasks. Model presentation is a start point of cascade profiling in Axstream. All other profiling types use cascade parameters defined in model type. Cumberline profiling. Cumberline profiling is one of the most often used profiling type for compressor cascades. Axe Stream provides cumberline profiling, where profile are built with a symmetrical thickness distribution along cumberline. The shape of thickness distributions depends on leading trailing edge wedge angles maximum of relative thickness and position of thickness maximum. When camber line is curved to provide required inlet and outlet blade pressure and suction sides are curved in different ways to create compressor profile. As compressor profiles are slim, then almost any profile may be presented using this method. Axe Stream Profiling and Blade Design Module Axe Stream Profiling and Blade Design Module integrate in single interface plane cascade profiling tools and blade 3D design tools. Module interface includes Profile Parameters Pane, displays parameters of current profile. Profile Editing Pane, displays profiles shape, velocities vectors, supplemental drawings, etc. Profile Thickness and Camber Curvature Distribution Potential Flow Solver Results Pane displays the distribution of flow parameters along profile. Channel Width Distribution Pane displays interblade channel width distribution. Blade 3D Pane displays profiles and blade surfaces in three-dimensional space. Blade Parameter Spanwise Distribution displays and controls the distribution of profile parameters along blade length. Potential Flow Solver Axe Stream Cascades Profiling is integrated with Potential Flow Solver. Potential Flow Solver works in real-time mode performs calculations and produces flow charts and property contours simultaneously with profile editing. Here the stagger angle is changed via slider of editing panel. The changes of velocity distribution is visible on flow charts and contours in interblade channel. Also the changes AUG profile cause the changes of blade curvature. Potential Flow Solver calculates the distributions of Velocity Velocity Vectors Distributions of Pressure Pressure and Velocity Loads And others parameters along profile contour. An important feature of profiling is Cascade CFD which is soft in way proprietary 2D CFD Navier Stokes Solver. It calculates flow properties and spanwise cross-section of interblade channel. The output of Cascade CFD is the properties contour displayed on the B2B surface. 
It allow users to estimate flow properties not only near the blade but across whole channel. Its automated post processor can display the distribution of different flow properties such as pressure, density, enthalpy, entropy, velocity and Mach numbers, and so on. Blade 3D Design Blade 3D Design in Axe Stream is integrated with Cascade Profiling in a single module. This is done due to mutual influence between profiles and blade surface. Such integration allows to immediate estimating the results of cascade profiling on blade surfaces. Blade design solves three main tasks. Control optimal blade surface curvature. Stacking control for stress minimization. Control blade meridional projection. Axe stream provides stacking of plane profiles along stacking axes. Three-dimensional blade surfaces are created by stretching three-dimensional surfaces on a stack of profiles. AxeStream CAD displays curvature contours on blade 3D surfaces. It allows to estimate the influence of each profile to surface curvature. AxeStream can display mean curvature, Gaussian curvature on suction side, Gaussian curvature on pressure side. Here the stagger angle and the number of sections is changed using Spanwise distribution chart. User can to see in real time how changing of profile parameters influence surface curvature. Color contours displays how Gaussian curvature changes. Axe Stream Blade Design provides the control of lean and sweep, or profiles displacements in tangential and axial directions. This allows to create bowed blades, predefined profiles database atlas. The practice of predefined or standard profiles usage is common at axial compressor design. Many companies prefer to use once design profiles or even whole blades in a number of compressors. Sure. It saves design and manufacturing expenses, but has a certain drawback impossible loss of efficiency. So the effects of standard profile usage have be carefully studied. AxeStream provides an endless module to create a library's databases of predefined profiles and means to use it in blade design. Profile Database Atlas is a multi-level structured profile storage. Atlas's level lists all databases addressed by user. Atlas's may be located on user PC or on network. This allows to use corporated profile storage. Atlas's can be dynamically connected and disconnected. Each Atlas database includes rotor and stator predefined folders. They are the roots of profiles used for moving and stationary blades. Two custom levels followed rotor and stator predefined folders. It is profile types level and profiles level. Profile type folder is intended to group profiles with similar shape but different size. Profile level is a last level of Atlas hierarchy. It stores profile actual coordinates. Compressor profiles in Atlas are defined with a set of two dimensional points. Atlas databases can be populated with input manual or copy-paste data in Atlas tables. Other way to populate Atlas is a saving profiles from AxeStream profiling with special option immediately to Atlas. Compressors profiles may be stored in Atlas as thickness distribution along normalized camber line. This is the most convenient method. It allows to use Atlas profile for profiles with any camber. With other option profiles may be saved as is with actual camber. In this case profile will preserve saved camber when profile will be inserted in cascade. Axe stream profiling tools for refurbishing and retrofitting cases. The typical problem engineers met in a course of refurbishing and retrofitting projects is the lack of design documentation which is necessary to recover existing machine cascades design. AxeStream provides a number of tools for refurbishing and retrofitting projects. They are Import external profiles into project Use stored profiles from special database Atlas 
import profiles from 3D CAD models, and scan clouds of points. Profile import option may be used when profile coordinates are tabulated. Profile import takes the table of profile points as input, recognize profile basic parameters, and inset imported profile in Blade. Profiling module provides special interface for less profile usage. Profiling Atlas interface allows to select required Atlas, profile type folder and profile itself. Then saved in Atlas, as thickness distribution standard profile is inserted in adjust to camber mode. It means that stored thickness distribution is scaled and stretched on curved camber line. Import profile geometry from 3D models with axe slice. Axe Slice option is used to extract profile basic geometry from 3D models. Axe Slice accepted blade models in STL, IGES, and curved turbo grid formats. The remarkable feature of Axe Slice is its ability to extract geometry from clouds of points, that is the results of laser 3D scanners. Axe Slice can read blade 3D models prepared in CAD systems in IGES or STL format. Also Axe Slice can use so name cloud of points, obtained after 3D laser scanning. Axe Slice provides a number of options to transform imported geometry, that are, swap axes, move, mirror, scale, etc. Axe Slice cuts imported 3D model with cylindrical surfaces, and fine profiles as a trace of blade surface intersection with cutting surface. Extracted profiles are automatically recognized, that is, basic geometry parameters calculated and imported to project cascades. Please, see part 4 for continue.